everybody. I'm glad you could join me today. And what I want to show you is how to braise a chicken with some mushrooms. First, we're going to use an air chilled chicken, but with mushrooms and a little bit of shallot or garlic and this wonderful mushroom powder slash extract that I found. So in thinking of that, I put a little bit of this powder into the sauce. I thought, oh, I think I also want to share with you some things that I found when our little issue of the virus set in, as I have a really, oh, marginal immune system, shall we say, and I really don't like drugs. I'd rather be eating food that's of a benefit to my immune system and boost it as best we can. Having said that, I take vitamin C, 6,000 a day, two in the morning, 2,000 at lunch, and 2,000 at dinner. You can't get in too much trouble with vitamin C. But then in doing the homework, like, you know, how do we stay out of trouble, if possible, with the coronavirus that's going around? So I was able to find some stuff. Elderberry, oh my gosh, this stuff is so good. Elderberry extract. These are, I bought two. I bought the extract and we bought the gummies. The gummies, you can eat these like candy. If you're not familiar with elderberry, it sort of tastes like Concord grape juice, kind of. I mean, it's they're just really good. I could see myself getting in trouble with those. And then we bought some extract. My sister and I went in together, so we're pat, we're, we're making a stash of, in our arsenal so we don't have to leave the house. And we bought these a couple weeks ago. If you go looking for this stuff now, kind of want to grab it because supplies are running thin and delivery times are being much more extended than pre-virus state. Anyway, this black elderberry extract is great. It's a teaspoon a day. Put it on yogurt, put it in cottage cheese. There's just so, oh my God, so much you can do with it. Um, put it over ice cream, but it is just a teaspoon. Anyway, some of the benefits, now I'm gonna read this because there's just, it's just so packed with great stuff that, I, you know, I can't remember it all. But the elderberry is more antioxidants, and you know what to do with, relieves colds, fights the flu, it boosts your immune system, Good for HIV and AIDS, you know, if that's of benefit to anybody. Sinus issues, back and leg pain, nerve pain, chronic fatigue, dental pain. It's also good in cooking, too, as far as using for juice, jams, jellies, chutneys, and then elderberry wine. High in vitamin C, fiber, um... Oh, it just goes on and on, but it's a great antioxidant as well as a great anti-inflammatory. So everything about this is sounding really good. I'm going to grow some this year. I've, I'm on a mission to find two, because it takes two, not just one, elderberry plants. And it'll probably take a few years, but gardening is always about next year. So having said that, elderberry. And also, elderberry could be good for your heart. Uh, it's good for reducing cholesterol, uric acid, blood sugar, sugar levels, and of course, further research is needed, you know, but they can't say anything. Helps fight cancer, fights harmful bacteria, may support the immune system, could protect against UV radiation, may increase urination, which is good to get rid of excess salt in your body. I guess that would lead to heart attacks and stuff. And may have some antidepressant properties. So with something that tastes good and it's natural, why not give it a whirl? I am, and so is Sydney. Quite a few people I know actually are. So then, after that, I found this stuff called um, C60. Someone else had suggested it. So I looked up this C60. What's that? I'd never heard of it. C60, find it on Amazon, maybe. It 
protects against aging by preventing damage to free radicals, has been shown to improve the lifespan of rats. Well, hey, I'll give it a whirl. It's extra virgin olive oil in there. C60 can kill viruses. That's kind of convenient. Prevents osteoarthritis and bone inflammation. Eliminates bacteria. Stops sunburn for younger looking skin. And again, pre prevents inflammation. So everything looks good about that. And this is take a teaspoon daily. So isn't that great? Of course, we have the Theraflu and Tylenol, you know, anything just to stay out of, hopefully stay out of any kind of hospital setting whatsoever. But then, also what was suggested is this stuff by Fresh Cap. It's called Thrive, a blend of six powerful mushroom extracts. And... The mushrooms are Thrive is a blend of six incredible mushrooms. Lion's Mane for focus, mental clarity, and creativity. Cordyceps, I might not be saying this right, but correct me when I, you know, you can send me, you can send me an audio of how I should be pronouncing it. Uh, Cordyceps for energy, endurance, and athletical performance. Chahaga for detoxifying and inner health. Rishi, the mushroom of immortality. Turkey tail for the ultimate immune support. And maitake, mataki for bolstering the immune system. Well, I'll tell you what, this stuff's great. It's a 60 gram bag, which is 61 gram servings. Um, Sydney is putting it in her coffee. It would be wonderful with boiling water to make like a mushroom broth or saute some mushrooms, add water and a teaspoon of this. Well, it's not even a teaspoon. It's, they give you in this bag a small little measuring cup and that is a gram. Doesn't take much. Very potent, tastes like a porcini mushroom, which is a very flavorful, intense mushroom. I just love the stuff. So what I did with it is, in this chicken video that we're about to watch, is put it into the sauce when, after the chicken was out of the oven, and it dissolved with the cream, and it added just a really intense, wonderful flavor. I also made a pasta with it, and the pasta I did was mushrooms, peas, some scallions, a little bit of cream, and some sherry, because mushrooms and sherry kind of go hand in hand. Anyway, this stuff's really good. So I would highly suggest that you take a look at this. You can find links to all this stuff on my Amazon store. And if you would, purchase through there because Amazon and both YouTube send me little pennies from heaven, which then helps me keep the lights on. And it also gives me a couple extra bucks to go buy stuff, whatever it is, for the next video. So I do hope you try it because it's really good. And I think you'll enjoy it as much as I do. So now I'm going to teach you how to do this chicken dish. It's simple. It holds well. Uh, you can make it a day in advance. Keeps for a week in the refrigerator for sure. And I'll tell you all about that. Enjoy it. And leave comments for me. But subscribe so that you get subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you get updates because I will be posting pretty frequent I would say going going to add some outdoor stuff to my garden hopefully the woodchucks stay out of it and just really good all-around information that I can share with you